How to operate a Caterpillar D6C. Here I am starting out the day. It's early in the morning. You always want to check the oil, then you'll check the water. Always make sure you have adequate amount of water. Then I'm checking the fuel. And what you don't see, I check the uh, hydraulic tank and the transmission. Let's start out with the basics. That's my ripper control lever, my blade control lever, my throttle lever, left and right steering levers, left and right steering brake pedals. And on the floor down by my left knee, there's one pedal, there's, there's two pedals there. That's from my tilt controls for the blade, left and right tilt. And by my left knee, there is forward and reverse controls. Now, you see as I stop, I didn't touch the throttle on my, below my right foot, there is a throttle decompression pedal. And what that does is it allows the machine to be at full throttle and you press the pedal and it works opposite of a gas pedal where you push the pedal it slows the engine down and then you let it go and the engine speeds up There isn't much to it, but that's from someone that's been running equipment. I guess ever since I was about 14 years old is when I was able to get on a dozer. I first learned on an old international TD-18. That tractor started up with uh, gasoline and transferred over to diesel. That is a really interesting piece of machinery. I threw this clip in here. I just wanted to show you what you really don't want to have or to do. Um, it's funny how I hate this. You know, you see how uneven, it's not level. It's got like a washboard effect. It's wavy in there. And I'm not making it any better right there. Cutting little potholes in it. It's a real good example of what not to do. And this clip here, I wanted to show you, you, you see the material as it comes up and it rolls off in front of it. So as you push it, you're able to get more in front of you as it just rolls. And it just keeps rolling. And you're able to gather more and more material when you come to the edge.
I'd like to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate the time you take out of your day to watch my videos. All the editing I do, all the filming I do, and all the work you see is all done by me. So once again, I'd like to say thank you for watching and stay safe. Keep the tracks on the ground.